Hey everyone, this is Greg Benz with a demonstration of the new edge protection features in Lumenzia's sharpening. Typically when you sharpen an image, you run the risk of creating some halos at very high contrast edges, and that's exactly what this new feature is designed to do, is to help you avoid or minimize those halos. So let's take a look at this image here, and when we click on the sharpen button in Lumenzia 3.0, you'll notice the bottom of the options here now includes edge protection. So you have the high pass, surface blur options, and then edge protection. And we'll come to this in just a second, but first let's add a little bit of sharpening to the image. So I'll click on high pass, and let's just zoom in a bit. And I think the default settings look pretty good, so I'm just gonna accept them as they are in Lumenzia. And let's zoom in a little bit more, and let's see the, the detail here. If we look before and after, we've added quite a bit of detail in the interior, it looks pretty good. But when we look at the edges of the buildings here, this solid edge is very obvious. Look at this halo across the uh, edge here. It's getting dark on the interior and very, very light on the inside. And that's what sharpening is designed to do, is to draw out contrast at edges. But when it comes to an edge like this, where it's very obvious, that's really not the result we want. So let's go ahead and we'll fix that with the new edge protection options. So if we click on sharp, we'll notice there are a couple of options here. Uh, essentially, there's an automatic option, which uh, may work well for landscapes, but I generally use the manual option. And when you, when you click on it, it's just simply going to let you know that it's going to use the quick select tool for you to define the edges you want protected. In other words, we have the quick select tool. Just simply draw across the image, and the edges that are defined by this quick select tool are going to be the ones that Lomenzi will protect. And of course, the quick select tool isn't perfect, so I just want to shrink down, hold down the Alt key, and just knock out a couple of edges that don't look quite right in the quick select tool. So I wanna avoid that. Nothing critical here, this is easy to fix. Generally speaking, the edge protection, if it's a little bit off, you wouldn't even notice, but I just wanna get a little bit nicer selection there to start. Okay, and now that we have identified that, we'll click on the sharpen button again, and notice it's no longer yellow because we have a selection that Lomenzia can work with. So again, it's going to take this edge of the selection and it's gonna essentially mask it out. So let's just click this button and you'll see we have a new mask on our sharpening. And if I alt click that mask, we can see it's a very simple mask. Essentially it's white to let through everything except for that edge. It has gone through and automatically blacked out that area is if we take in a pen tool or something and just gone through and manually brush this out. So let's take a look at what the impact of that has been. So here's the result of the sharpening here. We have all the same sharpening in the interior. Everything looks really nice here, but notice how clean that edge is. If I were to turn off this mask temporarily by shift clicking on it, you can see here was the original haloing that we had, and with the new protected edge, we have this much, much softer edge. So that's it, very, very simple. Just draw a quick mask to define the edges you wanna protect, click the sharpen button, and you'll end up with a much cleaner sharpening, and that will allow you to push the sharpening your images to a much higher degree. If you wanna learn more about Lumenzia, please head over to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia.